Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at the new Ruger Max 9. Ruger introduced it a couple weeks ago. They jumped into the subcompact double stack 9mm handgun game and they did it with the Max 9. Very lightweight and thin. If you check out that grip there, that is that is very thin. And then the slide width is only 0.95 inches wide. They priced it right. 499 MSRP. It is out and available. I'm seeing it, but it's a little bit over the MSRP, which is pretty normal for a new release. Comes with two magazines. This is the 10 round mag, and over here is the 12 round mag. I don't see that great of a difference, maybe a little bit, but I definitely go with the 12 round mag when carrying full three finger contact on the grip and of course you get that additional two rounds the texturing on the grip is similar to the security nine all right kind of sandpaperish not overly textured if you carry on your belt it shouldn't irritate the skin i wouldn't think so it's got a nice feel to it texturing all around but what i also find very interesting is the the front sight it's a fiber optic tritium front dot so you get the night sight advantage and then you get the daylight with the fiber optic really neat I, I haven't seen anything like that before but they may be onto something it's all housed in metal and you have serrated black metal rear sights they sit a little high to work with your optic now it is optic ready you can see it does have the ruger emblem on there and they stayed on their site i believe there are 14 different red dot optic options on there that, that this will fit so however they made that happen i'm i'm pretty impressed now the trigger the trigger i'm measuring right at five pounds you can see it does have trigger bar safety in there and i'm looking at five pounds no over travel at all and here is the reset right there audible reset Okay, you can see it does have front serrations. This model is considered the Pro model, and that's because it does not have a thumb safety. Other models do. They're four ninety nine too, but I I went without the thumb safety. A lot of people really like those thumb safeties. They may have grew, grown up with the use of a thumb safety. I just I always choose against it if I if I you know have a chance to, to choose sometimes you know you just grab what you can get but they did a nice job with it you know I'm not sure I'm gonna put an optic on there I kind of like the way it is right now you know under 20 ounces let's take a look at that and then we'll align it with some other pistols and see the size difference let's go with the 10 round mag here and we're looking at one pound, two and three eighths ounces. We move that to just ounces. What's that? There it is. 18 and three eighths ounces. And then over here we've got 11 rounds, 23 ounces even. So that's what you'd be looking at, 23 ounces. And that is pretty light. If we go with the 12 round mag, it won't be that much of a difference. All right, there's 11 rounds. Got another round here. You're looking at 23 and three quarters ounces. So, it, it, once again, they, they kept it light. They kept it with a very slim profile. Definitely made for carry. And the trust and confidence that Ruger offers, they did it right here. Now, let's take a look at the American Compact. All right, now this, this was... It, they, they call it a compact I, I don't get that I you know the smaller ones usually a subcompact this really isn't subcompact but anyways we'll take a look at the slide length look at the difference in the slide width all right actually let me back it there there it is that's how it's supposed to be so you're looking at over an inch and then a little fatter grip with the American compact how about the security nine people asked me to do this one Here's the Security 9. This is smaller than the American Compact. And over here you're looking at well, probably an inch again. Maybe maybe three quarters of an inch. And that's what we're looking at with the width. Now what's pretty interesting with this is that when you disassemble it, you can lock the slide back. Okay, see clear. 
but this gate right here you're going to push this down all right and that will expose that pin right there and then from the other side you just take a punch or something and you punch that pin out we're not gonna put that anywhere where we where we can lose it and then here's your glass filled nylon frame it is really light and then here you have a dual recoil spring all metal guide rod and a 3.2 inch barrel with an integrated barrel bushing we see that with some of their other models okay that's what that's called the integrated barrel bushing and then there is your slide very well machined and a, a pretty simple disassemble process and to reassemble I'm going to put this back together and see if I have that down sometimes you have to get this in there pretty perfect and I don't know if I do but we'll go ahead and try it again and then just push that pin through tap it in so it goes all the way and then there you go raise that raise that gate up so there's no way that that pin can come out it's a bit stiff I have to tell you it is a bit stiff but there we go but I'm gonna get this thing to the range I can't wait to do that it's a nice looking handgun Every, everything on it so far seems like it's gonna check out to be an awesome handgun and you know I I have plenty of Rugers I have confidence in Ruger and I think this is only going to increase that confidence great carry gun and I'm gonna get get it to the range this weekend and let you know how it fires if you like videos like this please subscribe and share I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.